Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. Not so long ago we made a cube in four different ways. If you missed it, the link is in the description. Cube is one of five platonic solids. A group that in besides the cube also includes the icosahedron, dodecahedron, octahedron and tetrahedron. So what naturally comes to mind is what would we need to do to make the other four? Making the cube, we made a square, set it against something with the right angle and kept going which is easy to do when your house is full of square objects you can use to find 90 degree angles, including that box your pen just came in. But the problem is that after you are done with the cube, there is not another right angle needed in this group. In searching your house for other angles, you may perhaps find a few 45 degree ones but good luck finding a 138 degree angle, for example. We may need a new strategy. Just a few weeks ago, I would say, what on earth is a dihedral angle? And why should I care? Dihedral angle is the angle at which the individual faces of the shape are joined together. And that is a vital information if you are expecting the faces of the shape, in case of dodecahedron, 12 of them, to seamlessly meet up and enclose the shape. Or, if you consider the other three platonic solids, they are all made of the same equilateral triangles. And only the dihedral angle determines if you will need four, or 8 or 20 to enclose the shape. So, if the shapes are this fussy about their angles, the first thing we need to be able to do is to accurately measure them. There are all kinds of protractors and angle finders on the market. Check the tools and materials section in the description should you need one. Protractors are more useful on the flat plane in pattern making Angle finders are more helpful in 3D situations. What I like about this one is that it measures easily both the external and the internal angles, and you can also lock it at a specific angle. Measuring the angles is a good start, but it doesn't necessarily help you make them. For that, we'll need to make a jig. Okay. Take a strip of thin cardboard. Mark about one inch flap on one side and divide the rest of it in half. Make a valley fold where the flap is. And a mountain fold in the middle. And make sure it all folds straight so the sides stay aligned. Then we'll stick the other side of the cardboard strip to the bottom of this contraption. like I need to trim it a bit more to make it the same size. It would help if I measured accurately in the first place. And here we go. We have an angle support. Adjustable to any angle you wish. There is angle down here, one on the top and most importantly one here where the support meets the work surface because that one will need the most.
Now we can measure and calibrate our device to any size we choose, like so. Once we have the desired angle, we'll stick two heavy duty paper clips onto the flap and we are ready to roll. The angles larger than 90 degrees are a bit easier to make, so let's start with those. Let's set up the angle support at 138 degrees for icosahedron, for example. Fix it in place. You can mark the spot if you like, to be able to find it faster next time. Make the first triangle and attach it to the angle support. Align the whole thing with the pattern, stick that down so it stays put, and continue onto the work surface with the next triangle. And here we have two equilateral triangles joined at 138 degree angle. Yay! Good start! The problem with angles smaller than 90 degrees is that we usually don't have enough access with the pen to reach into such a tight corner. So we'll need a strategy to sneak upon it. I'll make just two sides of my triangle. And then two sides of the next triangle. and then join them from the outside, where the angle jig is not in my way. From here, we are just one line away from finishing tetrahedron, so let's do it. Some of you might take the platonic solids from here, because from this and the cube video, you already know all you need to know to make them all. But if you feel we need to talk about them individually, there is more on platonic solids coming up. Not only on how to make them, but also on how to jazz them up and make them more exciting. Downright Christmassy. So until then, go and make something.